Neanderthals are closest relatives. Many of us have probably heard of them at some point, but who are they really? Well, I'm going to answer that in this video. But before I begin, I want to thank you for watching Ben Explains, and I come out with videos weekly, so if you want to see more, click that subscribe button down below. Now let's get into it. Neanderthals lived around 400,000 to 40,000 years ago, and along with the Denisovians are our closest related ancestors. Now, believe it or not, in the history of the Homo species, it's actually really common for our ancestors to share the planet with other different Homo species. And that was the case with the Homo sapiens and the Neanderthals. We even share common ancestors, with the closest thought to be either Homo heidelbergensis or Homo antecessor, before we eventually split into different species. Neanderthal bones were first discovered in 1856 in the Neander Valley, Germany which is where Neanderthals get their name. Neanderthals lived in cold environments in Europe, Eurasia, and Asia. And to make matters worse, they lived during the last ice age. Living in such extreme environments, their bodies needed to adapt to the climate if they were going to survive. And that's just what they did. Neanderthals looked much like we do today, but there were several key differences. For starters, they were much shorter, about five foot to five foot five inches. They were also much stockier with a very broad chest and shorter arms and legs that were extremely muscular. All of these attributes aimed to limit the surface area of their bodies, and with less surface area, it's harder for the heat to escape. And in such cold environments, that could mean the difference between life and death. Neanderthals had very large brains, which were even larger than ours. They had large faces and long, low skulls. Also, they had very large noses with a high bridge, aimed to warm and humidify the cold and dry air that they were breathing. Neanderthals were primarily cave dwellers, which is where they got the nickname the caveman. Their diet consisted primarily of big game meat, but they also had a steady supply of plants that they worked into their diet. Some populations that lived on the coast relied primarily on seafood as their source of nutrients. The evidence we have been able to uncover shows that Neanderthals were very intelligent and had a relatively complex culture. They had complex tools, they had spears and axes for hunting, and were even the first species to utilize bones for their tools. They were able to use and control fire, and had tools for sewing, and they were the first to make clothes from the hides of the animals they hunted. Our findings suggest that they had cognitive functioning above what was necessary for survival. They created objects for strictly ornamental purposes. They would carve designs in the bones, and we even found cave art at some of the locations. Many scientists believe that they were even able to communicate using speech. We have found wind instruments supporting the idea that they had music. Although Neanderthals lived to be only about 30 years old, we have found several instances where they had taken care of the sick, disabled, or elderly individuals past that age. They had burial rituals for their dead and would often adorn the grave with medicinal plants, suggesting that they were aware of the healing elements of those plants. But what happened to the Neanderthals? Well, the short answer is, we don't know for sure. They disappeared around 40,000 years ago, which is about the same time Homo sapiens were moving into the regions inhabited by the Neanderthals. Some scientists believe that they died out because of a drastically changing environment while others believe that there just wasn't enough resources for both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals to live together. But perhaps the most popular belief is that the much larger population of Homo sapiens began to mate with the Neanderthals and eventually just absorbed their numbers. This idea is supported by the fact that today, people with ancestry outside of Africa have about 1-3% to of their genome consisting of Neanderthal DNA. With Neanderthals being as advanced as they were, it makes you wonder, what would the world look like if it had been their species that had survived instead of ours? Thanks again for watching Ben Explains. If you found this video even mildly interesting, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, comment them down below. And remember, hit that subscribe button.